and today I am here at Only the Toughest, and today I am interviewing Harry Smith. Thank you, Stephen. In speaking with TJ recently, we, we talked about my small collection of wrestling mm -hmm. figures. Well, I only have one or two thousand. Okay. <laughs> that I have, and, and how you used to play with wrestling figures when you were younger too. Yes. Which wrestling figure was your favorite one growing up? Oh, gee, I have to say my, uh, probably my, my, uh, the, the original British Bulldogs, LJNs, yeah. I knew it, yeah. I knew it was going to be British Bulldogs. Yeah, like, those like, ones, those were my favorites, the very first ones. I was like, okay, yeah, that's Yeah, that's it. Um, being Canadian, what would you say is the biggest thing you miss when you are away from Canada? Well, aside from my friends and family, um, maybe Tim Hortons, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and Montana's, pasta pizza, um, you know, poutine, uh, going down to Banff, going to, you know, going to see the old, but you know, mostly it's the friends and family. Always got to miss your friends and family. Yeah. I know Natty and TJ, certain, certain snack foods, mm -hmm. like certain snack foods. What is your favorite snack food, and what is your favorite meal to get when you are on the road? Well, um, favorite snack foods, is that when I'm dieting or not dieting? Is it cheating or not cheating? <laughs> you can do both if you want. Uh, well, okay, I, I like my gummy bears, the Haribo, Haribo ones. Nestle Crunch Bars are my all-time favorite. Crunch. Yeah. Um, ketchup chips. Yeah. Nestle. Yeah, ketchup crunch. chips are good. Those are good. Uh, dill pickles are good. Uh, but mostly Nestle Crunch. I like my uh, M and M's and uh, Cold Stone. So, but uh, you know, traveling as long as it's. Um, if I'm in Canada, I like to go to Montana so I the foods available. Denny's is always good for breakfast. Um, Humpties is always good for breakfast when I'm in Canada. So when I'm traveling, otherwise, you know, I'm not too picky. I like to go find some uh, sushi if it's available and, you know, Korean barbecue. Actually, a person that actually was in a commercial for Montana is actually here today. Oh, really? Mr. Stone Rockwell. Stone Rockwell, okay. Awesome. I'm, so I'm watching the, the, the commercial, I'm like, Wait, that's a little fun. <laughs> tonight, you, tonight you are fighting at only the toughest. Yes. To you, what much. does it mean to be the toughest in life? Well, it's uh, it's a lot of work, a lot of work. So you got to do it day in, day out, and uh, you got to push yourself past those boundaries. And sometimes you need other people to push you past those boundaries and you need a good coach and a good trainer and you need good people to train with I think to uh, help with the stimulate you and, and push you past uh, your boundaries where you didn't think that you could go to so I think tonight um, but only the toughest we're gonna see who's the toughest between me and uh, Eric Rowan over there and it's gonna be a hell of a battle and I'm looking forward to it but you know, it's it's definitely not easy, and uh, you know, you just gotta you gotta grind it out past those uh, plateaus and sticky points, and you know, get a good rest and go out again the next day. Can I ask you one more question? Yes. How did it feel to you to hold your father's figure? Oh, it was always great. Yeah, I did a lot of. Yeah, it was <laughs> it was. It was always always good. I, I like the new figures WWE made of them too. They're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. Yeah. I saw they made one with him and the Big Boss Man, which is the newest one. So yeah, those are good. Thank you so much for coming on my show. It means so much to me. You're welcome, Stephen. I can't wait to. Uh, hopefully, you can award me with the title as long as for championship, as long as I'm victorious, right? All right. Give me a high five. Bye, everybody. See ya.